Hello, my name is Emily Morgan, and I'll be talking to you a little bit about Thomas Paine and his pamphlet known as Common Sense. Now, if you pay attention in history, you should know at least two things about Thomas Paine. For one, he was an advocate for independence, and two, he was a, the writer of the pamphlet called Common Sense. Now, a couple interesting facts about Thomas Paine. He was born in January 29, 1737, in Thetford, Norfolk, England. His father's name was Joseph Payne. He was a tenant farmer as well as a stay maker, which is someone who makes corsets. Now, he, made, he had one sibling. Her name was Elizabeth Payne. She was born August 29, 1738, about a year and a half after Thomas. And she didn't live past a year old, sadly, so he was pretty much raised as an only child. Now, Thomas Paine, when he was 13, started working as a stain maker, like his father. However, later on, he worked as a storekeeper, as well as a uh, teacher and a customs inspector, before moving to Philadelphia in 1774. Now, Thomas was known as a bit of a fighter, but he didn't fight with a fist or a sword or a gun. He fought with his pen and his words. His writings were his weapon. Now, a, now, a little description of Thomas Paine. According to Stat Stadford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, Thomas Paine was a pamphleteer a controversialist, and an international revolutionary. Now, throughout most of his life, Thomas's writings inspired passion and action in the people that he that read his works, though his writings also brought him great criticism. He communicated the ideas of the revolution to common farmers just as easily as he did to the intellectuals. He created prose that stirred the hearts of the fledgling United States. Now, a little, little information on his pamphlet, Common Sense, was that it was published in January of 1776, so about two years after he had arrived in Philadelphia. Now, this pamphlet was 47 pages long. It was actually America's first bestseller and sold around 150,000 copies. Now, according to ushistory.org, Common Sense challenged the authority of the British government as well as the royal monarchy. The plain language that Paine used spoke to the common people of America and was the first work to openly ask for independence from Great Britain. Now, Common, common Sense was a pamphlet that explicitly demanded the complete separation from their mother country, Great Britain. And according to Thomas Paine, he not only had told them that they should separate from Great Britain, he told them that not only for their sake should they push for this, but for the sake of their children and their children's children. He also encouraged them to not be wary to separate from, from Great Britain because they didn't need to depend on them anymore. If anything, England would be the one to lose if they separated, while America would likely be to thrive through trade of goods. And the reaction to this pamphlet, according to the article, Thomas Paine's attitudes towards religion impacted his legacy, author says, by Jonathan Marker, was that it inspired, a revolution, it inspired revolutionaries across the 13 colonies to revolt against the crown. So not only did Thomas Paine use his writings as a weapon, he used it as an advocate for independence to the American people. I hope you learned a little bit more about Thomas Paine and what the purpose of his pamphlet, Common Sense, was and the impact it had on history. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it.